Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone Academy video and today I'm coming at you with one of the most requested videos of the entire channel. Now, the actual most viewed video on this entire channel is the key to victory. Now, if you remember the key to victory, it's talking about the pinwheel rotation. If you haven't seen this video before, I've got some of it playing in the background and I'll also have it linked in the description. But basically, it's talking about a rotation technique that we use in this community that allows you to both maximize kills, but more importantly, minimize exposure to enemy gunfire, enemy rotations, etc. So a lot of you have been asking after watching that video, and some of it I've seen even in the coach reviews where I review your gameplay on this channel. It's a bit of a misconception of how actually to implement this, or you'll have questions on how to implement this. And so what we did on stream about a week ago is we went through the pinwheel rotation three, four, five matches in a row, implementing it to a T, talking about what we need to rotate for, what we need to look for during our rotations, things we need to consider such as terrain, buildings, enemy rotations, future pieces of cover, and all of that kind of came down to a lot of really valuable moments in game and that's what i've got for you today i've got two gameplays where the pinwheel rotation didn't quite work out how i could have done it a little bit differently learning moments after the fact and then a final game where we completely frag out have an amazing indie and really use the pinwheel rotation to a t to pull off an awesome victory guys study this learn this implement this i look forward to reviewing this in the future but most importantly Please don't use this if you're in my lobby. I don't want to die to you. <laughs> but all seriousness, guys, check this out. This is a highly requested video for a reason. You're going to learn a lot here. If you enjoy this style of video, subscribe. We've got the entire Warzone Academy playlist that you can check out and become a better player. And of course, if you want to have me review your gameplay, make sure to subscribe as well. This channel is all about getting you better. It's not about gloating after me. There's a lot of value here. I hope you all enjoy it. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. All right, chat. So like we talked about, we want to land on the outside of the zone. For sometimes the zone's in the very circle, so maybe you get a little bit around it with the pinwheel rotation. Um, so let's start with landing off towards the edge. We don't want to force ourselves too far in. That was... Heard a guy in here. There we go. Alright, so, pinwheel rotation. The whole value of it is keeping ourselves on the outside of the zone and working our way in. If we were to land, let's say, right here, we could have multiple rotations in from anywhere in the zone. So our value in the pinwheel rotation is staying on the outside and limiting our exposure to external rotations. So that's what we're going to do this game. We're going to try to play the pinwheel rotation to the T. All right, so these are the guys that I want to gatekeep. We've got someone coming in here lower. He has the storm to his back. He's getting forced in. I know his location. He's going to come into me. Uh, he's on my floor, I can tell, based off the UAV. So when he comes out of this door, it should be a super, super easy kill. Famous last words, but... He's getting forced to rotate. Getting forced to rotate. Like I said, we're playing a little conservative. And that's how you play the pinwheel. A little cheap. A little scummy. But. We're playing it to a T today. Anyone who's making late rotations, they are going to get punished. Alright, so now let's take a second. Lay low. Figure out where the next zone's going to go. Okay. Uh, we already cleared out here, so I'm actually going to rotate towards the fat part of the zone, which I normally would not advertise doing. But for me... As an aggressive player, I want to get kills, I want to get content, I want this to be an entertaining and engaging video. More gunfights I can talk about. I'm going to rotate towards the fat part of the zone. Fortunately, it'll probably start moving when I'm right about here. So it won't actually be that, you know, that fat, per se. Alright, so one thing you can do if you're really trying to, you know, max perform the pinwheel rotation and get more kills while you're at it, you can use the vehicle to, you know, keep pushing your pinwheel. It obviously puts you on the radar, literally. Um, so it, it's a little bit more high profile. But. You eliminated the most wanted target. Good job. Gets you in the game. Heard some gunshots over here. They're suppressed. They clearly have a loadout. I, I can outrun it, especially since I have the vehicle. So I want to get in on it. And get those free kills. Once again, find myself on the outside of the zone. Try to push myself forward into the zone a little bit more so that way I'm not getting caught behind. 
right? A lot of people think that the pinwheel rotation requires you to be hugging the zone the entire time, and that can uh, that can get you killed. You know, if you get into a gunfight and all of a sudden the zone's on your back, you want to give yourself a little bit of buffer. So here, once again, I'm rotating out on the edge of the zone, trying to catch people rotating in. I've got the vehicle, so you can still play the pinwheel and still play aggressive. The whole point of this is finding people who are uncomfortable, like this guy right here. He's terrified. He's hiding behind the tree. He doesn't know what to do. I saw him. Not the cleanest gunfight in the world, but uh, hey. It's also a really, really cheap animation. Getting out of vehicles, it's so tough to track. It can uh, oftentimes get you some easy kills. That guy wasn't caught completely on the edge of the zone, so he was trying to prone out, play a little bit, a uh, little bit slower. But we were still able to, still able to get him. So I'm not seeing anyone on my radar. Granted, they could have ghosts. But let's see if we can make anything happen against this guy right here. I just got absolutely turned on and laser beamed by a thermal. All right, guys, let's try this again. My ego got the best of me there. Going for... Wow, that is a lot of stuff up there. Let's go for it. How many total wins do I have? I don't know. I haven't checked in. That door should not be open. Goodbye. All right, so now we can start moving in. Edge of the zone. This is probably going to be hot. Eh, possibly. Not many people. Not many places to rotate out through here. We've got a most wanted over in the zone. And our loadout should drop in 15 seconds. So looking at this end zone, looks like we're going to end up over in these trees over here. So I'm going to grab a sniper whenever I play my zone. If I know it's going to end in here, um, I'll end up grabbing something like my Kilo or my Ram, knowing that I'm going to be in a lot more indoors uh indoor fights that's actually clutch this is this is what you love to see chat this right here i've got two people both camping this zone is going to push incredibly fast he's feeling the pressure oh i can wait Boom. Okay. All right, chat. So like we talked about before, we can rotate on the outside of the zone. We can do the pinwheel rotation with a vehicle. So right here, because I'm hunting for kills, I'm working myself towards the edge of the zone for a guy like this. GG's, brother. Great play. 200 IQ. I really had to make sure I threw that far enough to where I didn't blow myself up. But even if I did, I knew I had self-revive, so I was playing a little risky there. So I rotate on the outside of the zone. I'm looking for people to get uncomfortably pushed out of places like this. Right? And especially even as, as I put it to the fat part of the zone, it's not too much of an issue because I have a vehicle. Gunshots on my right. He got beamed by the top of the hill. I'm going to make a risky play here and get out of my vehicle. But it pays off. All right, so now I can see who's who's getting forced out. I've got guys getting forced out of hospital. And the nice thing is they're getting forced all the way out. They're getting forced out past all these buildings. So they'll be great kills for me. And then I can push over to Promenade, which I'm really familiar with fighting at. But I'm actually going to take one quick kill on this guy while I wait for the other guys to reposition. Yoink! Ow, ow, ow. Body shot. There it is. Okay, so I've got this guy. He's rotating up earlier than I expected. Um, trophy system, I think, has one use on it. So I'm going to play it conservative and pop a new one. Also, pop a UAV. Yep, so this guy rotated up a lot earlier than we pretty much expected him to. He's on the buy, though. Oh, no, 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 no. We are in a bad spot here. This guy's camping for a sec. Let's worry about someone else. 
Let's see who else is rotating. So those guys are rotated down to there. They're on our mark. And let's see if we can bait this guy now. And get baited. No, you don't. No, you don't, sir. I'm not seeing anyone in any of the windows. Yep, there he is. Guy just dropped out of blue. Hey, sir, I'll take your kill. Grab his money. No point popping a UAV because this guy has ghost. And then I'm going to allow the zone to make this fight uncomfortable for him. I'm not going to force the fight. I'm going to make him rotate with the zone. There he is. Not going to force it. I'll deal with him when I have the advantage. Okay, there's a guy right there. Boom. So we know that guy's going to have to rotate into us. Once again, we don't have to force anything. If I was playing this conservative, and I'll play it conservative for you guys to see how I'll approach the situation. Okay. I see a guy behind me. I know he's going to have to rotate into me. I can take up here. I'm going to watch my back because I know there's one guy on top of train station, possibly with a sniper. And then I'm going to wait for the guys that I've seen behind me to rotate into me. Because they are now forced, because of the zone coming in, to rotate in to me. There's a guy on top of train. Drop off. No point to force it. I got shot from behind. Not sure how close. Check Harpy. Possibly ghosted. Look for train station guy. Enemy UAV overhead. No dice. Check my back. Nothing. Alright, so we got a little out of position here and into a bit more of a pinch than I would really like to be in. There it is. I might die here. Because I'm going to do the head animation where I bring my head up. Uh, that's really annoying. So... We like to land at the outside or near the outside, but I don't like playing anywhere in here. Um, I could play quarry. Yeah, let's play quarry. There's spy stations over here. There's plenty of bounties. We can play quarry. I was thinking mill base. So pinwheel rotation once again. Land on the outside of the zone. Are you effing kidding me, bro? How long are you chilling up there? You setting up camp? I feel like you are. Oh my goodness. It's alright. Little shortcut here. Wapow. Wapow. In one of these. And peek me. I have a personal vendetta right now, chat. This one's completely personal. Baby. Oh no, this this is so far away, but it's kind of worth it because there's a most wanted on there. We're gonna go snag the ATV. Let's play the outside. That's that's the start we need, chat. That's how you know it's gonna be a good a good game. This is the one. This is the one. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Uh-huh. I saw what you were going for. Let's work our way back towards Quarry, because we knew there were some people there, and most importantly, Quarry is all getting forced out by the edge of the zone. Um, these guys aren't getting forced out, but they're close enough to the edge of the zone that I feel comfortable pushing them. I'm not worried about, you know, a lot of people rotating into me, especially since I have a UAV, so I've got information. So I'm going to bait this guy out right now. He's camping in the attic. Complete 100% ego chow. I do not suggest doing that. Just so we're all on the same page there. I'm in the middle of the street. Okay, we know there's someone up here. They took some shots at me. But I don't know where exactly they are. And they're comfortable. So, pinwheel doctrine. Get the heck out of there. He's not forced anywhere uncomfortable. Let's bail. We'll deal with them later. A lot of people ask, Isaac, how do I deal with campers? You deal with campers by waiting for them. You wait them out. You can either sit outside their building, or you can do what I'm doing. Just go deal with some other people. 
They're not going anywhere. Even if you're trying to get high kill games, campers aren't going anywhere. Clearly, they like camping. We need recon. Send the flyover. This is Falcon 3 -0. Good copy. We'll be beginning flyover. I'll drive. All right, so we've got people over there. This guy decided to get out. Bold move. Bold move. Now I have the high ground and cover. And you have nowhere to rotate to. Bold move. Could have paid off. Didn't. <laughs> All right, so we got guys up here. We're playing the pinwheel to a T, so we're not going to force them. Let's go down here towards stadium, see if we can find anyone rotating. Because there is a chance we attack these guys, right? We get into a gunfight here, get into a gunfight here, and then this guy over here rotates into us. The whole point of the pinwheel is to take fights where we know where we have limited exposure. No one can be right here on the edge of the zone because the zone clears them out. I'll be driving. It's also one of those things where as I work my way down here, right, I am clearing out all of this area. So if I get into a fight right here, I know I don't have to worry about my back because I've cleared all that out as I ran through it. Now, it's a little bit less of clearing when you're playing with a vehicle, right? Because when you're playing with a vehicle, you might have people camping behind trees or whatever. Um, but when you're playing with on your feet and you rotate through an area, you've pretty much cleared out that area entirely. Gas is inbound. Marking. Once again, playing the edge of the zone. A lot of great rotations out of here at a stadium. But then I'm going to double back. So I'm going to rotate down here and then I'm going to double back up because I don't want to deal with people rotating out of downtown because they'll be safe. They can be safe for a while. So I'll deal with the downtown rotators later. Kind of rhyme. Rotator later. Nice thing about it, this is probably the most conservative way to get solid 10, 15 kill games. Steady. I don't want to rotate down on the other end of stadium because those are fights I don't want to get into. So now I'm kind of doubling back and working my way in a little bit more. I see a guy up there on TV station. I can deal with him later when he's forced out. No point yes. in me trying to clear out TV station right now. And the pinwheel rotation gets very useful in late games when you're playing on foot. That's when I play it to a, to a T, and that's when it's really, really well executed. That's why you typically don't see me playing the pinwheel rotation in the early games. Because, you know, sometimes you're struggling to find people. I'm, I'm not doing as much red dot chasing. We need recon. Send the flyover. This is Falcon 3 guy behind me. Beginning He's getting forced to rotate in. He's showing lower on my UAV. Get to a spot where I can get some cover. He's sitting inside this building right here. But before we let that die, let's get some information from our UAV. We know we've got someone here and someone here. ATC is easy to remember, so I'm not even going to mark that. I'm going to mark this house because that guy's going to camp. He's already camping inside the zone. He's going to be safe. ATC, I can remember. So I can remember ATC and then yellow mark. Okay, moving. So in seven seconds, this zone is going to start applying pressure to this guy. And somehow that was a a body shot. Gas is inbound. If you don't feel comfortable forcing the fight, you don't have to. Just know, hey, it's not pushing into the zone. This guy's in a really uncomfortable spot. This is where the pinwheel plays in your favor. You're on the strong side of the zone. Little Timmy, he's not... He got my sniper, got a shot on him. He's weak. Finish it out there. Now I can go back and I can remember. Okay. I've got someone on high ground here. They may be peeking me, but most likely they're peeking inside of the zone. If they do peek me, that would be awesome because I can get an easy headshot. If they aren't, well, maybe if I cause some commotion over here, they'll peek off to the side. So... The bounty's still alive. I get $13,000 if I kill this guy, so I'm going to push a little bit outside of the zone. Normally, I would wait for the zone to push this guy out, but uh, since I've got the opportunity, I'm going to take it. He's going to be seeing on his end that the, you know, the red meter's going up, so he's going to know I'm here. But we know, unless we got the ghost glitch on him. Okay, we got the ghost glitch on him. That's how we find him last time. I'm going to play this aggressive right here. Mainly because I want money. And I lose. I jumped and started shooting over his head.
Good news for me. Only thing I really lose out of that fight is my perks. And a little bit of pride. This is where the real fun of the pinwheel comes. Late game. People are starting to play really conservative. And if you learn to play the gas, easy, easy, easy outplays on these guys. Okay, pull up the map. We know we've got a guy shooting right there. Man, not having a... I don't have a headshot. Now I do. He turned. He <laughs> like snapped over to the left. Bummer. Alright, let me... Check heartbeat. Nothing on it. Play a little bit slower and something like that. Know that if that guy was crouched out earlier, he's probably going to be playing weird again. Under 10 to go. Keep fighting. And now we're set up again. Work our way back towards the edge of the zone. And this is where we find stragglers. Okay, I'm in a tough spot here. I'm in kind of in a transition spot. Get out. Okay. Six people left alive. Constantly scanning the edges for people that are getting forced out to rotate. Gas is closing. Get to the Look where the next zone could be. Okay. Kind of crouching and proning. See if I can get an eye on this guy. Got a little bit of natural terrain here. With this cover. I think I see him. There he is. Cool. Now we can keep rotating around. But I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stop on this ridge line. Because of that building. If I try to rotate through that building... He very possibly could take the high ground on me. He did not. There we go. So what I'm talking about is this building right here. That building becomes a threat. Right? You need to figure out as a player, okay, I need to stop my pinwheel rotation this way because if I get caught in no man's land, there could be someone in that building that could easily gatekeep me. Okay, so I'm going to rotate up towards the high ground where I've got some space and some time. I'm going to be short on cover for about 10 seconds here. But as I rotate back up towards my cover, I know I'm not going to be caught with an awkward fight right on that corner. And now I start pinwheeling again up to the top. Don't get focused on trying to catch people rotating out here. Make sure to clear out what's on the edge of the zone. This is your immediate threat. Those are opportunities. Clear out your immediate threat first. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. And now we can look for opportunities. Don't hard scope too long. Guy behind this. So he's going to have to rotate out, but I'm going to have to rotate as well, and I'll have to work my way over there. Okay, here's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting one person over here, and one person up here. I really got to be careful, because the guy up here could have a huge, huge terrain advantage. By going up this hill, I expose my lower left... But it's kind of a calculated risk. Yep. There we go. Alright, that's just... <laughs> Come on. Come on. You're curious. You're curious. Come on. Come on. You've changed my position a little bit. Come on. Gas 
Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. He's actually got the advantage right now, based off how far I have to rotate. Now I'm gonna press. There it is. And a nice little cocky thing you can do. Leave one of these up there. And say GG's. And just walk away. Pinwheel rotation, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's done. Let's go!